When it rains, it pours, huh? HBO Max is going to be making a new Harry Potter TV series based on all seven books because nothing is original anymore. Everything that was great in the past must die. Let's begin. Lots known yet about this project outside of the fact that there's a deal on the table, which will hopefully be ready to go next week. J.K. Rowling going to be back in the mix, overseeing, making sure everything stays within her vision. Um, I love the Harry Potter movies. I love the Harry Potter books. You probably see that by the nerdy Lego castles all around me, and there's little trinkets and doodads, and I'm, I'm an adult male. This is what I do with my time and my money, my heart and money. Anyway, I'm a big fan, um, and I always encourage new interpretations to be out there, but I also encourage anyone but Warner Brothers to be behind the deals going on. Because Warner Brothers is garbage lately. There was a time when that WB logo would come up on the big screen, and I would say, oh man, this is going to be fantastic. Those days are long gone. Long gone. They make bad movie after bad decision constantly. I have zero faith in this all around. The only franchise I adore just as much, if not more than Harry Potter, is Lord of the Rings. We saw what happened with Rings of Power. <laughs> all I can do is clap about Rings of Power. You managed to take one of the most beloved properties of all time and run it into the game ground. Thanks everyone involved in this decision. I'm sure it's gonna be perfect. I'm sure there's foolish people out there that are excited about this. We get to start over, we get to start anew. Half the original Harry Potter cast is dead anyway, so screw it, right? Seven books, seven seasons, it just makes sense. We get to really dive into these. We get to see Peeves being a douchebag. We get to learn all about that elf thing that Hermione was doing, that sub sub subplot where she lets them have their freedom. That'll definitely be in there because we got to pad this out. We got to make as much money as we can. Warner Brothers is not doing well as a studio. They're actually doing pretty damn bad. So they need a cash cow desperately to bring them out of the depths of shit that they have put themselves in over the years. When Lord of the Rings was announced that it was gonna be a TV series, I was actually pretty excited about this because it was going to tell new stories. It was gonna be set in a different era with different characters. Had I known that it was also gonna be trash, I wouldn't have been excited, but I gave it a chance. I enjoyed a couple episodes starting out. I was actually very excited. And then it hit me. They're just slow rolling everything. They want to make this property go the distance, go for speed. They want to be the equivalent of a cake song. And I can't help but think they're going to do the same thing with Harry Potter. Plus, that casting was almost perfection across the board. I say almost because Dumbledore, both versions weren't the book versions, but I still loved them. They made it their own character. And I just... I, I just can't picture anyone else playing Harry, Hermione, Ron. It, it just, it doesn't work for me. There's so much you can do with the wizarding world. That's not Fantastic Beasts. That's not Fantastic Beasts. There's so much you can do with it. I just don't know why they have to go back to the well. Can J.K. Rowling not make new books? Is that beyond her capabilities? Can we not get other new talent to rise up and take the reins and sure i don't have to watch it you can say adam why 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 do you complain why do you cry so much well this is obviously inconsequential nonsense obviously this is tom petty in the grand scheme of things to worry about but this is a movie channel so we're gonna we're gonna ham it up a little bit plus i'm passionate about films 
So when I see the amount of money they're going to throw at this, the amount of time, the amount of energy that could possibly be wasted when you could have a bunch of different new things come up or different book adaptions that are just waiting to be made, I can't help but be frustrated because we are living in an age of cinema where everything is being remade, rebranded, rebooted. And yes, there are tons of great original films still being created and TV shows, but they're buried. They're, they're so far down. The big stuff is all we see and hear about, and it's all just lazy now. We have four movies about a dude going on a rampage because his dog was murdered. Four of them! And they're probably going to make a fifth, plus they have spin-offs. Listen, I love John Wick, but at some point it's just a bit much. It all just gets a bit sticky at the end. It all gets a bit messy, a little pear-shaped. Because we have these amazing attractions at Universal Studios. The rides, the, the, the wonder, the whimsy, the magic. Well, what are we going to do? Are we going to rebrand it just like the show? No, of course not. Because everyone will always look back on these films with absolute admiration. So instead of adding to it, creating something new within this wizarding world that you could see in the future at a theme park... We're just going to see these kids again, reimagined, different actors, different faces, same locations, same storylines, but just a different paint job, different direction. And I can guarantee you none of that makes its way into the theme park outside of a couple t-shirts and a mug. Much like these Disney live action remakes, they're nothing more than cash grabs at the end of the day. People are nostalgic for those originals because they're timeless because they're brilliantly executed, because there was passion there. I'm not saying that there can't be in the TV series, but based on Warner Brothers' track record, I don't buy it. I don't see it. And I'm going to be very concerned going into this. That doesn't mean it can't work. We'll have to wait and see. But this is the news so far. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What are you thinking? Are you just, are you just sick of it all? Are you fed up? with all the unnecessary <laughs> remakes coming out because it's all about the money now. It used to be a little bit of a balance, right? It was like 80% money, 20% art. It might have been even more equal than that in the past, but now it's just, it's like 98% money profiting, making franchises, scaling up. And it's, it's just a, it's a damn shame. Let me know, Juan's at the ready tap that subscribe button. I would love to have you stick around. I post movie content every single week. Have to have you here. Want to see it. You'd love to see it. Please cast a spell on that like button if you had some fun and EXPECTO PATRONUM! The notification bell as well, so these show up right in your feed. I don't really know what the Patronus charm would do to the notification bell, but I just like how Harry says it. Daniel Radcliffe really made it his own. Ugh. <sighs> God damn it. Stupid Warner Brothers. Okay, bye. How is a TV series going to possibly compete with all the quotable, amazing lines and acting from the films? You're a wizard, Harry! I can touch you now. You're a fool, Harry. And you will lose everything. You'll never understand love or friendship. Did you put your name in the fucking goblet of fire, Harry? Jesus Christ, old man! Put your name in the goblet, you piece of shit! Huh? And the theme music. They're gonna just use that again? Because this is technically starting over. So you have to have new theme music. Good. Luck! <laughs> You're gonna need it. Hey, thanks again for watching the video. Hope you had a good time. If you really like what I'm doing and you want to support this one-man operation, please think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's even a $1 membership, so if you're like, I, I like the guy, but I don't love the guy, you could start there. And even at the $1 tier, there are 300 exclusive videos that are only for Patreons and YouTube join members. That's right, you could also become a YouTube member. And both of these platforms have the option to support at the Mithril membership, which is my favorite tier offering. 
If you stick with me for the year, you can get up to four movie requests of your own. I shout your name out in the video, and I mean, I give you a full review. It's a, it's a great time. I think uh, it's fair for both parties involved. So check me out at those places, and thanks again for watching.